Hi, my name is Emilio Camarini, and we're coming to you live here at the famous Bow Tie Strip here in Macau. And today I have a very special site visit I'd like to take you on. It's one of the most unique buildings in the world under construction right now. It's Morpheus Tower, something I've been involved in the design of for the past three years. So come on, let's get going. So what is the structural system of Morpheus Tower? Well, as you can see here, we have a steel exoskeleton clad in aluminum. As you can see over here, this is the part of the 42-story atrium surrounded on each side by a concrete core. Both the concrete core and the steel exoskeleton help support the building in the gravity and lateral cases. And because we're in a typhoon climate, that means that we can have severe forces running through this exoskeleton. So the design of the exoskeleton connections was something unlike anything that we normally see in structural engineering. There's three main reasons for that. First of all, we had massive architectural constraints in the form of a 3D poly surface coming from Zaha Hadid that we had to remain inside of. The second one is because of their bespoke nature, every single connection had to have its own way of getting documented. No one's ever seen connections like these before, so how on earth do you document these? But the topic of today's lesson is going to be how did we do the engineering? The engineering challenges for this project were massive. And remember, on all of this, we had only 12 months to deliver detailed design information for over 2,500 exoskeleton connections. So why was the exoskeleton connection design such a big deal for engineers? It's because all of these members right here are coming together at very complex junctions that no codified approach covers. So right away, codified approaches are out the window. The second thing was is we had hundreds of load cases and members that were designed to their plastic capacity and were subjecting the connection to six degrees worth of forces and moments. This meant that all the plates in the connection would be subjected to a complex stress state. That can only easily be analyzed by a finite element analysis, which of course to me was awesome because I've always been interested in finite element analysis. So to do this in a timely fashion, we knew we would need to use a grasshopper-based parametric tool. And that was one of the things that I helped set up at the beginning of the project for using it to create all the connections. The best part about the tool was the fact that it was an extension of the engineer's mind. A lot of the times you see in our industry people making big Excel spreadsheets that make no sense when someone else takes them over. Our design team knew what they were doing because at every stage of the process, it wasn't automation. It was the engineer having his skills be put up in front of him. We saw what we were doing. We knew the forces were being mapped correctly because we saw them. We saw the connections were similar because we saw them. And for, certainly, we did not let the computer run the finite element analysis for us. We had to check each and every one of those ourselves. So one of the coolest things that I was involved with was doing an experiment after the project was over to show the world exactly how powerful this tool was. So one day I recorded my screen using the grasshopper tool and then also tried to do a bespoke hand calculation for the same connection. And what I found was fascinating. First of all, the grasshopper tool allowed me to perform a higher form of analysis 20 times faster. And because I was using a higher form of analysis in the terms of finite element analysis versus bespoke hand calculations, I was able to effectively save three times as much material for the connection. So what is the future of structural engineering to me? This, this right here is the future of structural engineering. Us being able to make our own tools to break free of the software constraints that we become so used to, to be able to employ our theory on a massive scale, faster, more sustainable, and also more accurately. This is the future of structural engineering.